15 years ago basically mainly in Kibera Kawangware I mean all those slums that you want to say I mean in, in, in this country trying to help the children to better their lives and I actually began with only five or other six girls with the time a friend of mine came she's a pastor and she said Rose why do you work from home I have an office at Kingdom Business that is next to a school called Rose of Sharon so she gave us a free office for one year before we knew it we had 53 children and now we decided to work with boys and girls why because I realized um, as much as we are working with the girls the brothers also need help we sponsor children to go to school basically children who come from needy families children who are orphan children who are being taken care by single parents they may have both parents but they're not able to pay school fees apart from education being just our main program we also have spiritual mentorship because we are a christian organization we have spiritual mentorship we have social i'll say social programs whereby we we have a social team where they do home visits we also have meetings where they come together all our children come together and we learn things together we have mentorship where we look for uh, volunteer mentors to come and work with our children as a social worker we conduct the home visits we do school visits we make sure the school fees is paid on time we are also the one to enroll new beneficiaries we have 216 children right now so we, we thank God. But one thing that we are very strong on is not only education, but the children should have integrity. So we take them to Christian camps three times a year. What we really want is not just to bring up an intelligent child, but a child with integrity. And at the same time, an intelligent person who goes somewhere and manages. The moment we get a case that this child needs to be sponsored, first of all, we have to do our background check. We do home visits. We go and visit the child in their home to verify if really they are needy. Then we take a case history. A case history is a brief background or history of the child. Where do they live? Do they have both parents? Um, what is the condition of their house? What do the parents do? and why why do they want to be sponsored are they in school or not from the time you take a picture of a child before they get into the organization you can see the emotion of maybe hopelessness because they don't see a way out of their situation and then let's say the child gets a sponsor they start going to school you you can see how elevated they are so much changes when a child is given hope like there's a way out of the situation you were born in you don't have to be stuck there you can move and make something better of your life and that brings me joy because i feel like now i have a story to tell through my pictures every child has their own account because every child has their own sponsor so um what happens is when we receive their money we, we there's something called project report so it has the details of the sponsor, the name of the child, and amount that the sponsor has sent for that particular child. And then when it comes to the expenses, um, what happens is that I have to check the balance for every child and also make sure there's no any given point whereby the, I have like to pay more than what the, that child has in the account. So we will receive the whole money lump sum in the bank account but now I have to check a track of every child, child's account um, in the spreadsheet that I have separate. When I look at real stars, we capitalize more on helping a child become holistic. But at the same, same time, we, we, I thank God that we have staff members who are really called out for the cause. We have so many children at the university and tertiary. So we have decided to um, build hostels because why hostels education is not as expensive nowadays as the hostel because you need to be accommodation and food and all that 
So God willing, uh, we, we just bo broke ground just near at the Nazarene University. We are going to build um, 40 units. We also have Realster's apartment, whereby Realster's apartments are two bedroomed houses where we rent out to, our, to tenants so that we can get income. This income is used 100% for school fees. We train uh, our parents, our beneficiaries who are in small scale businesses, how to operate their businesses we, so that it can increase sales and through the profits that they get from their businesses, they can be able to take care of the rest of the family. We appreciate a lot. We are very thankful. And I believe that person, God blesses them. They've seen a lot since they started blessing realtors. That's one thing I believe. And to continue doing that, not even to us, but to many other out there. <laughs> We continue urging people to, to give also so that you can be able to help these families. I'm really thankful that we have a chance to do in a small way to help the children.